welcome back. We're going to continue learning Adobe Illustrator. With this video, you're going to understand how to transform the line into different profiles, different shapes, and different textures. So we need to have a document open. I have it in white. I'm not placing grid any longer, but if you feel comfortable with it, do it. So create a new document, press pause, and I'll be here waiting for you. So once we're here, Remember that we already seen this, uh, we have seen many tools by now, you know, maybe you are not aware, but for now you have like, by now you have like 10, 11 tools. And well, of course there are like more than 50, but we're getting, you know, step by step to learn and to understand all of them. So what are we going to do? We're going to use again, the line segment, please draw some lines, wherever you want with the texture that you want. And if you want to use the pen tool, feel free to do so. Don't be afraid. This is going to give you like an extra. In the results that we're going to be learning, I'm going to make some curves. And uh, maybe I'm going to use the spiral, why not? If you don't use it, you lose it, right? And I'm going to have it here. A tip for you, if you want to duplicate it, instead of doing Command Z, Control C, you can hold it in your keyboard option in PC will be Alt, select the object and here you duplicate it. You see, this is how I, you can duplicate it really fast. You have to select the object that you want, Alt or Option, and here you have them. So, as you can see right now, I have no fill color. We're just focusing on line. That's the only thing that we are learning right now. In the line option, we have it right here and we have it at the bottom. So we're going to find out how can we get the line color. There are four ways to get the color. Remember Illustrator and Adobe, they know that we have our own special way to use the tool. So. If you want to have the color, one way is by selecting the color at the top. For example, right now I have black for this one, but I can change it into purple. The other way to get color is right here at the bottom in the toolbar where I can double click it and select the color that I want. When you see it here, it's because it's going to be selected. Now these two things, we'll learn it when we learn color, okay? Not now. So for example, right now I have that for this color Another way to get the color is by using this one, the one that is called color. Let me move this and I'm going to place myself here. This one is going to be helping me, you know, to define the color that I want. Right now I'm using RGB. Or the other way is by using the swatch. Swatch is going to be capable to be available here, available at the top and everywhere you go. Now, characteristics of the line. Right now I have one characteristic, you know, color, weight, um, width, brush, and opacity. But if I click the one that is right here on the right side, stroke, I'm going to have more options. What can I do or how can I get this? Remember that if you don't have it available, don't panic. It is a window. You can go to the top menu window and then select the option stroke. Okay, so I'm going to have more options here and we're going to understand the terms. I'm going to start with the first one. So I have this one, I'm going to select blue. When I have this one, it's telling me that the color is blue, that the weight is one point. I can change it to a specific weight that is available for the software on if, with the software. But how about if my favorite number is 17? or is 21 or 23 and it's not available, the good thing is that you can double click it here or select it, 23, enter. If there is a request for a specific weight for the line, this is how you do it. You can do it here or you can do it right here. Usually the numbers that you see on the right side are the same ones that you have at the top. Now. All the lines can have different sizes, 
but they can have different profiles as well. The following profiles that we're going to learn, the, uh, they work better if the line has a bigger size than one weight, uh, than one point, okay? For example, I'm going to select this one. This one has 23. Instead of having uniform, that is going to show me like a, the same from the beginning to the end, I'm going to select this one. This continue to be a line. Now, what happens if I use this one in one point? Yes, it does, but it's more evident if you have, a, you know, um, a higher weight on the line. That doesn't mean that this is bad, okay? It depends on what you're doing. What is the, the main reason for doing the line with that specific profile? Now, the results that I have here, let me change now this three. I'm going to place it seven. This is just for the video, okay? That doesn't mean that that's the number that you have to use. You're going to see that you're capable to transform the line. This continue to be a straight line with a different texture, as you can see here. Now, let me change it now into something that a complex line. And I'm going to change the weight. So you can have a variation or this one. Let me show it like this. So if you want to have the texture like um, you're doing something with a paintbrush, you can have that. Or how about this? Let me show you this. So it's starting to have more personality, right? Why? Because you're giving it uh, something that is called profile. Now, how or when do I use it? Usually when I'm doing, for example, um, lashes, let me show you eyelashes. For example, I have this. I'm going to duplicate it. Now you know that pressing option is how you can have it, right? Like this. Imagine that these are eyelashes. I usually do it with this. I, and I change the direction. Let me show you what is changing the direction. You can see that here is thicker and here is thinner. In my window that I have on the right side, right here, I have this and this is going to flip it see it's going to change if I want to change like the orientation of the result this is how you're going to do it that's why I have both open as I told you before the one that is on the right side it has more options than the one that is on the top okay so if you want to give a texture to a line this is how you do it let me change this one I don't know if you can see the difference between this and this, but somehow is how the lines are made, not exactly just the weight. And let's see this one. And in case you don't see any change, for example, here from here, I, I can see that the thickness is changing. Okay. So this is how you can define the profile of a line. Where can you see it? Let me show you here and here. Remember that we saw this? Take a look to this. The way this is becoming thinner, this is becoming thicker. This is a uniform line. All of them have like the same um, size is uniform. Let's see another one that is like with more movement. Take a look to this one. I'm going to make it bigger, okay? So you can take a look to that. You can see the variation here and here or even here so that's why when we are, want to give more life to an illustration is when you start playing with the profiles that are available for you and remember changing the size and of the weight is going to give you the opportunity to give this movement and make it more dynamic okay so I'm coming back here I'm going to add a new page and what else I'm going to do so we've seen how we can use this one. We can add, delete, and so on. We have seen how can we add a profile. Now, what about this? What is basic? Automatically, the software is going to give me the options that you see here. These are textures that are going to, of brush, that are going to be given for you. I'm going to select this. I'm going to duplicate it. Remember that I'm pressing option, and I'm going to press it here. This is just to make it faster, okay? If you want to draw it, go ahead, pause the video and do your own thing. Now, 
basic instead of using basic you know the line that is going to be like with the same weight and so on i want to give a texture i'm going to get closer so you can see the texture lines don't need to be flat they can have personality like this they can seem like they are you know make by, by chalkboard or maybe with airbrush let me show you this one or marker right and you can even have something that has this jeans style now do you think this is the only thing available no of course not let's get more now remember that once you go deep you're going to have more options and that make, makes you a little bit crazy because it's like which one should i select always keep in mind who is the one that is going to receive the message why are you sending the message and how um how relevant is the message and how it's going to affect you know the viewer you as a designer not work you're not designing for yourself you're designing for someone else and usually this someone else is going to be a mass you know mass of people it's not just one person i mean unless it's for your boyfriend girlfriend or both or your parents or your grandparents usually a graphic designer works with marketers and with advertisers because they're sending a massive message okay so how can i get more texture you go to the top menu again instead of selecting this you're going to go to the corner right here where you have like three lines then you're going to select something that is called open brush library here you're going to have arrows um, artistic it's going to be like calligraphic ink paintbrush watercolor and so on scatter and different tools i'm going to select some that i know that uh, you students usually like for example this one because valentine's day because you're in love or maybe this one what is going to happen is that this texture is going to follow the line and the direction of the line for example i am going to share you this this is called uh, the creative scatter but maybe you want to do something like more artistic so i'm going to the corner again i'm going to select artistic ink so i want to have like i don't know splatter like i'm going to draw blood someone is bleeding i don't know the story that you want to tell or you want something with the texture so it doesn't really matter the color that you have um, usually it's going to be transformed into black or the color that you have here for example in this case i have black but that doesn't mean it's going to be black you can change it here in red but here if you know that i selected the hearts the main goal is to have it in pink so just keep that in mind okay so this is how you can define the line okay now we have more tools right here and we're going to look at them but i want to first like to play with all the options that you have i selected just two but oof let me show you another one that is my favorite open brush library oh, i have too many arrows is the result decorative you can even do something like this I, you know uh, when you want to do a banner or another one that is makes me laugh because i don't know why they have it but people use it it seems that people use it is this one arrows with a special texture you can see this one how it was changed and the good thing is that you always can define like where does it starts and when it's going to end depends on how it was uh, drawn you see that here you have the arrow it doesn't look so good so you have to be careful which one you're selecting but this is how you can modify the look of a stroke so right now we focused on the looks on how it's going to have like the characteristics like the weight like the width profile and somehow the brush we're talking right now about lines okay now how about if we have a close figure does it going to work the same way we'll see it in the following video okay see you